Shalom fam, it's me again, your sis, that biblical babe, Jelly B. Uh, I've got another message and this is for somebody um, who, business is booming. And if it's not booming yet, it will be booming for you. Um, this is what I saw though. There's like, it's going to be a monitoring spirit that will somehow get around you. Somebody you give to people in need and i want to remind you of this scripture matthew 6 verse 3 okay that never let your right hand know what your left hand is doing so when you're giving to people don't just try to do it openly try to be as secretive when you're giving to people in need because it is who uh, the father who sees everything he will reward you openly okay um but there's somebody that you've caught the eyes of a monitoring spirit somebody who sees um, that business for you is booming that's all i saw business for you is booming if you can't see it now you need to collect your faith and believe that business for you is booming and you will have more than you need that you are able to give to people in need but um what i saw specifically is that there is going to be somebody if there isn't already around you who has a monitor in spirit that they can see things prospering in, in your life that you you're prospering and they can't seem to fathom where is this coming from where is this financial blessings coming from how are you prospering how are you doing the things that you do it must be something bad it must be something illegal that you're doing i need to understand this more they've got this kind of a mentality towards uh, your prosperity and prosperity i'm not just talking financially in the fact that whatever you are touching whatever you are doing the people even that you are speaking to you are offering so much encouragement to them you are everything you are touching and doing is bringing forth life and they can't understand where is this coming from how is this possible they don't know it's the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit within you they're thinking the worst that oh what are you doing it must be something illegal they want to know so you need to be careful there's a proverb 21 verse 23 that he who holds his mouth keeps himself from calamity that sometimes you don't want to chat too much okay when things are going good prosperous and whatever shut up and i don't mean like shut up i mean like shut up like be quiet don't tell everybody just bless people in secret and praise the lord okay because somebody oh nearly forgot this is how you would know who this person is because you shut the door to it them previously this is somebody that you already and this is not for you to be suspicious i pray that this person will actually come to mind and that you will speak blessings over their life and peace over their mind in jesus name but this person this is somebody you've previously closed doors to in your life you've stopped them having access to your life on some kind of level and they've come back again so if they haven't come back again already this will be a person that will come back and they're looking at you like whoa what are you doing so what was that that how did you do that and they're not looking at you to congratulate you it's to question how did you do this they don't it's like a mm, really there must be something more to this like really you okay but yeah we bless people who look at us like that because it's not us it's the lord i could do nothing of myself i don't know about you but it's not me <laughs> it's the lord and i'm grateful so i just want to speak that to somebody as you are prospering as you are doing well as things are prospering oh and this is something i want to speak to you as well wisdom remember this in life yeah that the people that we see the people like the celebrities the people who are have the most it looks like power in our society by the looks of things through the naked eye because really and truly it's a facade a facade what we see the celebrities <clears throat> sorry the people who have some kind of influence and um, notoriety notoriety that we see on tv social media and whatever those people that we actually see are never the ones who are truly powerful they are the puppets okay <clears throat> they are the ones who are willing to push forth a message and agenda that fits into the agenda of those who actually have the power that's just how it works in life the people who are most powerful most wealthy most influential most knowledgeable on anything and everything are the ones that nobody really sees the ones who are the who the lord is blessing yes he blesses people openly don't get me wrong okay but usually and the way the society works the people who are most powerful most wealthy we will never see them okay we will never ever 
ever see them. That's just the reality of how life is. The people who we see, they have signed some sort of deal. They are in agreement with something that those who own the means of production um, have given them that uh, sphere of influence. It was given to them. So just remember that when the Lord is blessing you, when things are going good for you, you don't need to. The best thing you can do is hold your mouth. When you don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. That's in terms of giving to people who are in need, as well as just how it is in life. If you want to continue to have a prosperous and a peaceful life, allow the Lord to bless you in private. And when he needs you to share your testimony, that uh, time will arrive. It will pr uh, produce itself. It will present itself when he needs you to do that. But it's not for you to go out and boast in yourself or to you know, do anything that is going to increase you or make you look bigger. We always want to get smaller so the Lord is bigger to other people, okay? And I'm going to try not to be too deep, deep, but that's so deep because we could go even deeper and look at that in t terms of like idolatry and sla uh, slavery. So sorry, I don't know where I'm going with that, but celebrities, Um, that's why, that's how that is idolatry. When you start to boast in yourself, and look to yourself as, yep, yeah, I've done this, and, you know, things are going great for me, and yeah, let me give that to you, because obviously, like, I'm good, you know, when you start to big up yourself, and become big in yourself, it's like you are now worshipping yourself, and your own um, abilities, the things that you think you did, put in the glory on you, it's like, that's what celebrities are, they are idols, that for other people to worship, um, because, they are worshipping the gifts that the person has, the other things that they have acquired in their life, rather than the gift giver, okay? But the whole point here for somebody that the Lord showed me, there is, if they're not here already, a monitor in spirit that you've already closed the door to that is going to return or has returned, and they're always looking at you like there's, really? Is there something wrong? They're not really sure. They're questioning all the time how things are progressing how things are moving in in your life how you are able to do that how you are able to do this and don't fall into the trap of sharing too much all you got to say is it's the lord it's the lord god almighty jesus christ he did it for me and he will do it for you okay so i just gotta speak that to somebody uh big up the lord and you for what he's doing in your life praise him but don't chat too much okay all right then speak to you soon shalom Thank <laughs> you.